<sighs> so, another Wolves video and more discussions about officials and VAR. But let's go back to the beginning. Um, going into this game after beating Brentford 4 1 in the league, I was very confident. I know Huang had gone, Ait Nori's gone, Traore's gone, obviously on international duty in the AFCON and the Asia tournaments. But Gary O'Neill said in his press conference he was going to play a strong team. So I was confident we could get the win. Dawson, Bueno, and Bentley didn't travel, which. I think a few changes is not so bad. Santi Bueno did well at Brentford in the league. We won 4-1, so no complaints really. Doherty, left wing back instead of Bueno. <sighs> Hugo Bueno, that is. But yeah, let's be honest, a bit of a disaster. First 10 minutes. Gomez, there's been a lot of split opinion online with this tackle. First of all, he didn't mean it. It wasn't intentional. He was very clumsy. He was very nasty, like studs down the bottom of the Achilles. I winced when it happened. I was like, oof, that's a, that's a bad tackle. Um, I think 15, 20 years ago, it's a yellow card. In today's game, I think it is a red card. My first instinct was yellow, but I think today's rules means it's a dangerous tackle. And it's a red. The referee give rev. VAR checked it. They said it was a, a red. Not that that means much, <laughs> as we're going to get on to. But yeah, gut in, because he's got a free game ban now, hasn't he? Um, Gomez, which we, is the last thing we need. But... To be honest, when we went down to 10, I did fear the worst, but Brentford didn't really threaten us. I thought we did quite well um, up until they got their goal just for half time. I felt, I felt, we felt, for me, we felt safe at the back. Um, obviously, at the back five, we just stayed as, as we were. Belgard uh, dropped in a bit deep. Sarabia and Cunha kind of stayed up there. With uh, That was to fill in for Gomez. And yeah, we looked okay. Didn't Certainly didn't look... Like we had ten men to be honest, but yeah, my, my, map is it Mapai Map Mapai? I don't know how you pronounce it. He used to play for Brighton, didn't he? And Everton, but yeah, puts the ball away one nil, um, and bit you know a bit of a bit of a sucker punch before half time. But even at that point, I thought we had a chance to come out second half, knowing we had Neto to bring on as well, and to get a, a, a result. But before we get on to the second half, there's a massive incident where Damsgaard, um, stamps well kind of treads on Doyle's ankle and it's inconsistency from the referees again because if Gomez is a red card, that certainly is a red card and VAR didn't even check it. It wasn't even a foul. The referee didn't even give a foul. Jared Gillett won it. Didn't even give a foul. VAR don't check it. And again, this is what Wolves fans keep banging on about, the the inconsistent inconsistencies from the officials and the fact that they can't even see that on VAR is just, it's just funny now. It's like... We just expect it as Wolves fans. Like we just laugh and it's like, yeah, there we go. Any neutral fancy in those both of those tackles will say if Gomez is, is a red in the modern game, so should a Damsgaard been a red. So but we're used to it. But thankfully for Wolves, we did have a saving grace in Tommy Doyle. Neto did come on, he was involved with the goal, another assist for him. Got the ball off the corner. Um a return pass from Belgard, I believe. Slots it to Tommy Doyle on the edge of the box. Puts onto his left foot an absolute steam rat into the top right hand corner. He's been playing well, Doyle. Played really well against Everton. Played really well tonight. And what a finish. And the away end went wild. A couple of mentions. I think I thought Cunha was fantastic tonight again. Absolutely fantastic. I thought Sarabia had a bit of an off game compared to the high standards he's shown recently. Um, Balgard did okay. Um, yeah. And yeah, as I say, Doyle in midfield was absolutely fantastic. Samedo did well at times as well, defensively, I thought. Got into a bit of a scuff at the end, didn't he? Where was it Lewis Potter like, pushed him in the neck? They ended up both getting booked. And uh, Neto really wanted him to get booked. That player to get sent off, didn't he? Kept going up to the ref. And he was arguing with a few of their players. But a bit of a better performance from Nathan Collins for Brentford. <laughs> he didn't gift us any goals today. But yeah, there we go. Moral of the story is the, the narrative coming out of another Wolves game. How many times I've said this season is poor officiating. Of cost walls going straight through. We have now got a replay against Brentford at Molyneux. So another game in January, which we didn't think we'd have. And let's hope we can get through and get into the hat for the next round. Please like and subscribe if you are new. Please comment down below your thoughts and all the controversial stuff. And I'll catch you all for the next game.